welcome to the stage, ASUS Chairman, Johnny Shu. Good evening. Thank you for joining the Republic tonight. 11 years ago, we founded ROG on the determination to create the most powerful gears designed to give you the most compelling gaming experience. Our dedication to superior design and engineering has been recognized and celebrated by the gaming community worldwide. Thank you for making ROG the dominant number one brand in the world. Thank you. <laughs> Our passion for innovation is inspired by your passion for gaming. Like you, we live to win. We live to embrace triumph and influence. We leave you to bring you everything but ordinary. And speaking of being extraordinary, I would like to invite my longtime friend, who is both a visionary and an extraordinary industry pioneer. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome the king of parallel computing, the founder and CEO of NVIDIA, Mr. Jason Huang. <laughs> Johnny, it's great to be here. Hey, that's a, that's a great welcome. Thank you. Jason, it's our greatest honor to have you. Thank you. Uh, I know recently uh, NVIDIA has proliferated yeah. in the area of artificial intelligence. Yeah. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Uh, I still remember our first collaboration 20 years ago when we wanted. I was in my early 30s, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the, first time, the first time I met Johnny, first of all, you know, Johnny has been a revered, admired leader of the computer industry ever since I was a child. <laughs> no, no. And so when I came to meet Johnny the first time, I was in my early 30s, and he was a giant of a man, and um, I've, been, I've been an admirer ever since. Amen. Now you're the big shot. Come on, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> so anyway, I think uh, I still remember our first collaboration 20 years ago, when we wanted nothing except to bring the most compelling yeah. uh, graphic experience to PC gaming, yeah. right? From Riva. Yeah. 128, yeah. Riva TNT yeah. to today's GTX 1080, right? Yeah. yeah. So I think now we have... Yeah, the, the time, the, the, you know, and Johnny, if you remember the time. Um, so, so for all of you, I mean, this, this, is, this is really great, and it's a bit of a historic lesson for everybody. So we, we started at the time, and I came to, came to Taiwan to talk to Johnny about Riva 128. Does anybody remember Riva 128? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, yeah, Riva 128. Okay. All right. Without Riva 128, there would be no NVIDIA today. <laughs> You're right. That's right. So Riva 128, so we had a great idea. We said, we said that, that uh, one, our observation was that the PC was going to become a consumer computing device. Yes. The second is if it was going to be a consumer device, the killer application was surely not going to be a spreadsheet. The killer app was going to be a game. Mm -hmm. And that game was going to be in 3D. So that was our proposition, that the PCs was going to become pervasive. We would use it all over our homes. It would be a consumer computer. That the killer app was going to be 3D applications, 3D games. Right. And so right. I, came to, I came to Taiwan, and uh, I pitched Riva 128 to Johnny. <laughs> it was a nervous pitch. I got to tell you, it was a nervous pitch. I'm still, I'm still nervous when I pitch stuff to Johnny. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, Riva 128. Uh, we've been working ever since. Yeah. 
on bringing great, great uh, graphics to gamers. Now and, you guys, and you guys outperform all the other competitors. You know, unbelievable, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> now one of the things that you guys here, here comes a st statistic that is absolutely shocking. Right. Between the two of us, we have brought nearly a quarter of a billion G-forces to the world. A quarter. Can you imagine this? Over 21 years. That's, you know, fantastic. A quarter of a billion. <laughs> and so here, here's, our, here's our challenge. You know, people ask me what's going to be NVIDIA's largest business. And they think that it's going to be artificial intelligence, but I think that's completely wrong. I mean, there's no question in my mind that gaming will continue to be NVIDIA's largest business. And the reason for that is simply this. When you and I first met, when you and I first met, the number of PC gamers in the world was approximately zero. Was approximately zero. It didn't exist. The market didn't exist. And yet, in 20 years, in 21 years, if this was our halfway point, and, uh, and I'm sure in 21 years, I'll still be here, Johnny. You better be here, too. So, so I, am I right? Yeah, 21 years. Getting old. You know? Johnny, I have a date with you. 21 years. Okay. 21 years yep, Computex, 21 years. Okay? You know, later. In 21 years at Computex, the number of gamers in the world will be measured not in hundreds of millions, yeah. but it will be measured in billions. Okay. And so obviously I think this is gonna be a very large market. The production value of the games that we're making is higher than ever. Uh, gaming is now in eSports. Yes. There's a republic of gamers, I, I, right? Unbelievable. <laughs> republic of gamers. It's, it's a republic in itself. And, uh, and PC gaming is so vibrant and it's gonna to continue to grow. Yeah. So, James, I think uh, I know you, you are talking about, you know, the gaming first, but I think uh, I still believe you were talking about, you know, the AI, you know, the AR, VR. So, so what, what's brewing, you know, at NVIDIA now, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, because, of, because of the work that we did together in gaming, uh -huh. the pursuit of virtual reality, the yes. pursuit of virtual reality, creating this another alternate, alternate universe for us to be in, several things I believe that's gonna happen in the future. I think we will absolutely have an alternative universe. We'll have many alternative universes. Mm -hmm. And all of us will have homes and, and, um, and experiences and, and maybe an entire lives in another universe. In the next 20 years, that's surely gonna happen. The pursuit of that alternative universe is gonna create technology so powerful that we're gonna realize artificial intelligence. And that's, that's one of the reasons why the work that we've been doing on GPUs led us to artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, let's see what's gonna happen. In the future, the characters that we're gonna play with will be AIs. Some of them will be, will be AIs, some of them will actually be our friends in, in, uh, in the virtual world. They will all seeming, be very seemingly intelligent. Mm -hmm. the, the animation would be so natural, it, it looks real. Uh, the, uh, the world is gonna be um, uh, utterly indistinguishable. From, from this world. Yes. Now the technology that we create along the way for artificial intelligence will solve huge industries from healthcare to manufacturing to transportation. Um, and, uh, and we're seeing that now. And so, so I'm super excited about the work we're doing in AI. So how about AR and VR? AR and VR, well, uh, you and I won't, won't be wearing normal glasses um, soon. And uh, surely in less than 10 years time, uh, these glasses will all be active glasses, and, and some of it will be computer-generated, and some of it will not be computer-generated, and, and so augmented reality will surely happen. But one of my favorites is still virtual reality. I think the, okay. uh, the ability to actually be suspended in a completely different world that's a, a whole new universe, not an augmentation of this one, but completely parallel universes. Mm -hmm. And those, uh, the idea of a holodeck, the idea of a, of a parallel universe, I think is um, uh, very, very compelling. And so we're gonna get both of them. We're gonna get augmented reality, we're gonna get virtual reality, and um, both of them are gonna be vibrant, completely vibrant, um, uh, vibrant markets. That's great, yeah. Anyway, the game is still the most important thing for ASUS. And of course, I think uh, the AI, AR, and we are also now the top priorities at ASUS, so. Yeah. So well, I, our, our video games are gonna have basically <laughs> virtual AI robots in them, right? And those virtual AI robots um, are going to be interacting with us in these virtual worlds. Uh, and so the, the enemy, enemy bots will be much, much more clever than, than the current enemy bots. So we're going to have to get better at gaming. We're going to have, we're going to need more powerful gear because the enemies are going to become much more capable. 
and um, uh, the worlds are going to be much more beautiful, and, and I think the future of gaming is going to be incredible. Very enlightening. So I think I look forward to you know, the growth of our partnership for another 20 years and more, okay? 20 years and more. <laughs> Johnny, thanks for your partnership. It's oh. been great working with you. You know, Thank you. guys, you, 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 one, one of the things that, that, that um, uh, has, has impressed all of us in the industry uh, is the, the mastery and the craftsmanship and the extraordinary level of engineering that ASUS brings to your products. Thank you, and, thank you. And that's why all these people are here celebrating, <laughs> celebrating your work. So, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, Jensen, uh, thank you for joining us tonight, but I think uh, I have prepared a small gift for you. Really? To show our sincere appreciation, okay? Wow, <laughs> no, stop. Oh my gosh, do you guys know what this is? <laughs> so look, Unbelievable. we have your name in grab here. Johnny, okay. this is beautiful. <laughs> do you guys know what this is? This is a brand new notebook designed together between the two of us. And the level of technology that has been entered into this is so exquisite that the thinness, the sleekness, is unbelievable. And quiet and cool. And quiet and cool. <laughs> this, is a, this is a brand new GeForce GTX notebook with Max-Q design. Now, let me tell you something. Between our two engineering teams, yes. this has more performance, 60% more performance than a PlayStation 4 Pro. Does that make any sense at all? So Derek. <laughs> Way more performance than a PlayStation 4 Pro, and it comes with its own television. You know, it comes with a display. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Unbelievable. My best pleasure. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much, Johnny and Jensen. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Okay. Oh. <laughs>
and it started from the gaming PC on your desk or under your desk. Then it extends to the room lighting in order to have a more immersive gaming experience. So the new AuraSync software will be able to control your smart lamps at home. So look at the ambient lighting. It can be synchronized. It can change with your PC. And we also want to shift back more control to gamers. So you will be able to compose your own aura effect in a simple way. And no need any coding capabilities. It's just like composing the audio soundtrack or movie maker, very easy. So here's an example. If you have multiple aura products, then you can decide which product light up first, in what kind of effect, and how long. And in this case, the monitor will light up first in color cycle, and next will be your gaming peripheral, keyboard, mouse, and headset. And next to your system, motherboard and graphics card. It's very easy, very intuitive through this simple GUI. Then you will see the backlight of the monitor light up first. Next, your gaming peripheral. Then your system under the desk. And of course, you can assign different effects to different products. So we'll have showcase in the demo area and in our booth. So you can go check it out in person. And both room lighting control and the aura editor will be delivered in Q3. And besides that, we are officially opening the Aura SDK for download today. So the hardware partners, game developers, and any of you can integrate the Aura products in your way. So sign up and download, submit your creative works, and share with the crowds. And this creates tons of the possibilities. All right, let's talk about the products. For the acoustic experience enhancement, I'd like to introduce ROG Strix Fusion. It's hi-fi grade ESS stack and amplifier building, and with exclusive airtight chamber for clearer sound. And it perfectly supports the Aura Sync. And the coolest thing is, when the lighting synchronization, it can do headset to headset. So imagine, if you belong to an esports team, and all your team members are wearing these headsets when your team won. And all the headsets can display the Congress Aura effect. And that truly delivered the team spirit. For visual experience enhancement, the ROG Swift Curve PG35VQ is the hero product. The HDR technology on gaming, it makes the picture more realistic and immersive. And quantum dot display technology provides a wider range of the color and 200 hertz refresh rate, 21 to 9 aspect ratio for wider view in the game. And it's 35 inches, it's crazy big. And this really makes it outstanding. And for CPU and the motherboard industry, you know it's not quiet this year, right? You guys must be super busy. And it turned out to be really exciting, especially for the enthusiast segment. Since we launched Apex in CES, which is based on Z270 chipset. And after that, we got frequently asked questions. Are you going to have more Apex? So this is the answer. Rampage 6 Apex for X299. And no doubt, it's the best performing and overclocking motherboard. It just break eight world records and 20 global first places. And the CPU speed has surpassed 7.5 gigahertz on KB Lake X. And more records are coming. And feature-wise, the exclusive XPCB shape, it not only looks cool, but also it's better for SATA cable routing. And we have two M.2 for four, sorry, two DIM.2 slot for four M.2 SSD. And two of them are ready for Intel VROC technology for faster storage performance.
and the most anticipated motherboard is Rampage 6 Extreme for X299. The refined craftsmanship has reached to a new level. We use sputtering deposition process, which is so-called NCVM technology. It's first time used on the motherboard industry. The ROG armor will become translucent when they light up internally. It looks really great. And the live dash OLED is seamlessly integrated with the armor and display the system information, such as CPU temperature, CPU speed, and fan speed, and etc. It's a great tool for you to show off, you know. There are many high-end gaming PC nowadays. It all composed of water cooling or LED strip. But with this board running, people will be able to recognize, oh, your, your system is running at 5 gigahertz. They just tell it through the armor. And that really makes the difference. And it has 10G Ethernet on board, 10G, OK? And A02.11AD, it's 4.6 gigabit per second wireless transmission. The connectivity is ready for the super high speed bandwidth. So the future connectivity is now. And both Rampage 6 APAX and Extreme are estimated to launch in July. Thank you very much. That's all my part for the product intro. And we still have more exciting products to show you. So next. Let's welcome Derek Yu. Please welcome to the stage, Global Marketing Director of the Republic of Gamers, Derek Yu. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Derek Yu. Uh, so for my part, uh, I wanted to start off by shifting gears a little bit and share with you some of the events and activity that we've done and also some of the new initiatives that's currently underway. So let's roll the video first. Since 2006, the Republic of Gamers has devoted itself to crafting a new world for gamers. What makes a gamer? What is it that makes us unique? We embrace technology to evolve. We connect with millions of people around the world to create our own reality. A reality that revolves around our passions. We've supported this community from the very beginning. We understand you in ways others simply can't. We are by your side because we are where you are. The best players from around the world have already joined us. Will you be next? All right, so it's been great participating and taking part in all of these great eSporting events and working with all these wonderful organizations and eSport teams. For ROG, we take pride in enabling eSport along with our partners throughout the years. And of course, we take pride in taking part ourselves in the industry, in the community, as a valuable member. Now, following the success of last year's ROG Master in Asia, which is our own tournament, this year, we're making it bigger. In 2017, the ROG Master will be a global professional eSport tournament with prize money of $500,000. And more than that, the ROG Master will kick off community tournaments worldwide over in over 30 countries. So aspiring gamers everywhere can have a chance to go ahead and fight for that couple of wild, spot, uh, wild card spots to face off the pros to try to get that slice of pie. The opportunities to engage with the eSport gamers out there gave us tremendous opportunities to interact, interface, and get some honest feedbacks and insights. Now, I'll share a story with you. So it was a couple of years ago. I was in Seattle. We were doing the international. And we were talking to some gamers. 
And one instance stuck to me, he said, Derek, despite all these great performances and the features out there in the market, I actually still don't see why I need to have a gaming laptop. So you can see how that struck me and that has stayed with me. So I had to say to myself, I say, self, with all these performance enhancements and features and all the innovations back in the lab, maybe we need to regroup them, regroup them right for the right gamers. Because with ROG, you see, we don't want to see gamers being classified in a vertical fashion by how much they can afford. We don't want to see gamer being segmented by the regular ways of seeing it as pro, hardcore, core, mainstream, casual, you know the traditional topologies. For us, a gamer who spends $1,200 on a laptop is no less hardcore than a gamer who spends $2,000 on a laptop. They're just different people with different needs. And that's what we need to do to get them in to trust us. So starting this year, we'll have product lines that's committed to deliver special products for different types of gamer out there. Last year, we recruited Strix to come into the ROG umbrella. And the time is now to take phase two to designate ROG Strix as the series that's committed to provide specific eSport products to the eSport gamer out there. At the same time, for ROG, it still will remain to provide various series addressing the AAA gamers with even more groundbreaking innovations to push the envelope and to propel the industry forward. Now, for Strix Esports, besides the obvious performance aspect, we're paying a lot more attention to the requirements of things like the keyboards, the IOs. And of course, for all ROG products, rest assured you will play all games flawlessly. But what we're doing more over here is that we're going to provide differentiated targeted features based on what kind of eSport genre that you play the most. Say for example, both of these additions will come with 120 hertz tournament ready spec panel. If you're an eSport gamer, you know what it is, you appreciate it, you deserve it. But let's say if your main game is Counter-Strike or Overwatch, the addition to the 120 hertz panel will want to give you a ultra fast response time panel. In the meantime, if you're more of a MOBA person or your game is RTS, RPG, we want to make sure that you have fast frame rate and the best color. So, of course, if we look at um, the industrial designs, the SCAR edition, which represents the um, FPS edition, we take inspirations from the metal body of a gun to a Kevlar texture from those tactical clothings. With the hero edition, we draw inspirations from the mysterious monsters from another uh, fantasy world. And there are still many, many other features which is yet to be announced, so stay tuned. But all the eSport gamer out there around the world, you can come to expect these two additions sometimes later in Q3. So that's eSport focus. In terms of AAA, now that's a platform where we can really drive for groundbreaking innovations. And the time is now for me to introduce to you the one that Jensen was just very excited and talking about, the ROG Zephyrus.
Finally, I get to talk about this one. So, AAA platforms. Uh, I'm a AAA gamer. I've been a AAA gamer for more than 30 years. Um, to me, actually, the, um, uh, the best gaming product, uh, laptop, was pr probably the ROG G752, if you get a chance to play with one of those. Uh, however, uh, there's a but. One time, I tried to take on a business trip with me, and then uh, I had to admit that wasn't the easiest thing to do. Hence, the, uh, the slim gaming, uh, slim laptops. But, you know, sl slim laptop is nothing new. As a matter of fact, we know that, you know, Asus makes some of the best slim laptops in the world. But for us, we were super cautious about venturing into ultra slim gaming laptop. Because in the end of the day, if by making it slim, that means we have to trade off with performance or experiences. That just doesn't mean anything, because gaming laptop was built on the promise of performance and experience. So we didn't see any satisfactory slim laptops, gaming laptops out there. And ultimately, it's up to us to define the category. And let me in on a little design story behind this amazing product. So we started off with an ambitious goal. We wanted to put the meanest, the most powerful graphics inside, which is the GTX 1080. But an obvious challenge is the thermal design. And any conventional wisdom will tell you that the airflow is going to be constrained by the dimension of the device. But to me, though, I thought, if we think outside of the box, and in this case, it's actually the box itself, uh, there has to be a better way to go about this. So uh, I went to our, our uh, Buhe SY, and then I showed them a PowerPoint slide uh, thinking, if I can break the dimensions and generate more fresh air flows, how can we do about that? He bought it. Our engineers ran with it, and we have something called the Active Aerodynamic System. So with AAS, the Zephyrus can stay compact and slim when you're carrying on the go, but it can be transformed to have higher thermal capacity of a much larger desk, a laptop when it's being put in use. Now, with the active aerodynamic system, uh, we're able to create more contact and more air flows with the fresh air. As a matter of fact, we're able to achieve 20% more in air spaces, which translates to a 32% improvement in overall air flow for the system. And what that means, then, is the Zephyrus is able to produce less temperature across the board when compared to our competitors, and especially at the places where it comes in contact with the gamer's skins, namely the hands and the labs. Now, I have to point out that this one has a GDX 1080 inside, and that itself is over 100 watts. This one only has a 1060. So if that's not mind-boggling enough, the acoustic achievement is equally as amazing. The Zephyrus is able to produce less noise, so it's quieter than its competitor. And again, this graph doesn't even tell the whole story, because like I said earlier, if we take into the consideration of how much power Zephyrus is packing, this is truly amazing. So if we factor that in and look at it from an acoustic efficiency perspective, our noise per watt is dramatically lower than the competitors. Now, again, you know, I have to admit that it's really difficult to have a good comparison chart when you're one of a kind, because it's kind of hard to compare. So actually, this guy is much, much bigger. So it's not actually even a, a slim laptop, uh, gaming laptop. But somehow, it's, 
a lot more noisy. And this guy probably shouldn't even be here. It's, it, he couldn't even fit a 1080 inside. And the performance of 1080 compared to a 1060, uh, as the embargo just lifted, more and more data will be coming your way. But you can bank on it. It's amazing. So um, that's the, um, that's the, uh, the, uh, the amazing thing that comes to Zephyrus as a AAA platform. And while we're talking about um, uh, having a awesome devices for the gamer, Zephyrus means less is more. It means it's quieter, it means it's more powerful, and it is the most efficient. And like I say, you know, while we're talking about the um, AAA platform, we're extremely happy and appreciative to be working with Microsoft and Xbox headquarters to deliver all kinds of great gaming features and games to the PC gamers everywhere. One of the examples is Xbox Play Anywhere. That is like music to gamers' ears. So finally, you can have one game and be able to play on the Xbox platform. At the same time, you can actually play it on an ROG PC. And actually, you can go ahead and try it out yourself with the games that we have provided, something like Forza Horizon 3 or Gears of War 4. So and stay tuned for more games and features coming your way from Xbox and ROG. Now, finally, in order to achieve something as challenging and as amazing, it takes an advanced technology platform from NVIDIA, and it takes such close collaborations between the engineering teams on both sides to get it done. Ultra Slim Gaming is a shared vision between NVIDIA and ROG, and it is the advent of the latest NVIDIA G4 GTX with Max-Q design, brand spanking new just announced today, and of course, the innovative AAS technology from ASUS, and that is how we achieve the impossible, the impossible once again. And to sum it up, so we have a lot more exciting Aura things coming up, coming out your way. We have a lot more eSports programs coming up in the second half of the year. We have a grander ROG master tournament. We have a refocused strategy with eSports and AAA gamers. And of course, we have the transforming Zephyrus Ultra Slim laptop. And lastly, um, I wanted to uh, express my appreciation for your support over the past year. So thank you. Uh, my name is Eric. This is my time here. And let me welcome my boss, Johnny, back on the stage. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Derek. Both you and Chris have done an amazing job in producing our latest lineup designed to empower gamers. I'm really excited about all of these new products. Behind every incredible project, there is an incredible team. Our incredible ROG team work day and night to bring you the most complete, innovative, and powerful lineup in the world. Please join me to welcome this incredible team on stage for a photo and give them a big round of applause. To join Johnny on the stage, please welcome ASUS Vice Chairman and President, Jonathan Zen. ASUS CEO, Jerry Shen. Corporate Vice President, Eric Chen. Corporate Vice President, Jackie Shu. Corporate Vice President and General Manager of the Motherboard Business Unit, Joe Shu. Corporate Vice President and 
general manager of the notebook business unit, S.Y. Shu. General manager of display business unit, Vincent Cho. General manager of VGA and multimedia business unit, Ken Chen. General Manager of Networking and Wireless Devices, Charles Chang. Chief Marketing Officer of ASUS, Rex Lee. Global Marketing Director of ROG, Jolene Lee. Global Marketing Director of ROG, Derek Yu. And Senior Product Director of ROG, Chris Hong. Now with this incredible team gathered before you, there's only one thing left to do. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say ASUS ROG, you say join the Republic. Are you ready? ASUS ROG. Join, Join the, the Republic! Republic. <laughs> we need to practice. <laughs> if you would all like to come up and take photos with the team right here, you can join up front. Come on up and take your photo. How about this? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the ROG and ASUS, please look to the right for the photos from the right. Please look down the center for photos in the center. And then look over here at me for photos this way. You all look so wonderful. Thank you once again for everything that you do and congratulations. Thank you for joining us. The demo area is officially open. Have a great time and see you this time. Thank you.